Dimmer switches like these have been around for a long time. What was seen as a technological leap is now standard procedure in the industry. As always happens, this innovation is no longer enough if you're concerned about saving money, enhancing mood, or just being on the leading edge of what's new. What does this have to do with this story on electric TV? Well, here in our studio, we rely on dimmer switches and lighting controls just as much as the rest of the world. But the electrical industry changes at breakneck speed. And if the IBEW and NECA aren't keeping an eye on new ways of doing things like others, they'll be ready for the scrap heap. The NECA IBEW team recognized this early on in their history and have been involved with cutting edge training and technology ever since. The latest in lighting is lighting control. Building owners and end users are now, more than ever, demanding the newest innovations in their buildings. Not just because they make the building look cool, but because they attract tenants. They say something about your brand. And most importantly, they save you money. I think a lot of construction now is, is drifting towards some sort of modularity, building-wise, lighting-wise. And I think the uh, constructs for the um, new um, control mechanisms, lighting and so forth, in these new uh, buildings is on the increase. The next generation of lighting controls is blowing older versions out of the water. And it's not just because they exist. It's because IBW apprentices and journeymen are honing the skills needed to master the installation of these products and services at joint IBEW NECA training centers around the country. A new program grew out of that NECA IBEW partnership that we tout so often here on ETV, one that also includes NYSERDA, the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. A couple of years ago, the JTCs in New York State, all 14 of them, collectively recognized that NYSERDA had money available for training, grant money that was available to both organizations and a labor union and management collaborated apprenticeship programs. So we took advantage of that opportunity, applied for the funding, and moved through NYSERDA's process and were awarded an initial amount of uh, funding towards workforce development, towards training of advanced lighting controls. Southern California Edison, a utility out in California, brought together different stakeholders from energy efficiency, from education, they brought in some community colleges, and we all worked together to actually jointly develop this lighting curriculum. Uh, from there, the IBEW and NECA partnered with NYSERDA to actually bring that to New York State. It's done through hands-on training so that apprentices and journeyman wiremen are used to the very same things they're going to use in the field. Having a, an educated workforce who understands not only the technologies that underlie lighting controls, but how they get installed, how they get programmed, what's, what does right look like versus what does wrong look like, so that you can maximize the effectiveness of those lighting controls. It's hoped that this program can improve the quality of lighting installations enable better and more accurate bids for jobs and foster satisfied building owners by reducing lighting load and costs in their buildings. I think in the overall market everybody's going to benefit from it. I think that the manufacturer, uh, the utility companies I mean, will, uh, will uh, benefit from it. I think the customer and the end users, the um, people in general, uh, the environment with the reduced carbon footprint, I think it's just going to be a very good benefit for everybody involved. There's a variety of reasons that lighting control is important, uh, not the least of which is because from a manufacturer standpoint, when the stuff gets put in a building installed somewhere, you want to make sure that it's working correctly from the start. Energy code and building code is driving people to need controls. They have to have controls in, in almost all of the building, whereas in the past it used to be controls in discrete parts like a conference room, but by and large on-off type of relay-based control in other parts. This is intensive work that not just any electrician off the street can do. It requires intelligence, a certain amount of aptitude for puzzles, and the technical ability of a clean, concise installation. We will work to develop a workforce so that there's electricians out there who actually know about these technologies, they can install them properly, and that they can eventually, somewhere down the road, be, in, be put into code. Like a lot of the printers, I don't think they're afraid of much, to be honest with you. This new generation, this is their world. <laughs> you know, the days of uh, carrying that pipe and uh, digging ditches and things like that is it, it, changing quick. There'll always be a need for that, but the technology that's involving in things, I think these kids embrace it uh, wholeheartedly. For NYSERDA's part, this partnership has benefits that extend beyond those for NECA and the IBEW. The energy-using citizens of New York also benefit. 
so they offer education and technical support as well. So New York State and its citizens get a lot of benefit out of this program. We get to not only see a more educated workforce and we're going to see them bidding on contracts, but those building owners and citizens who are actually requesting these jobs, they're going to see their electric bills come down, they're going to see the strain on the environment reduced, and they're going to improve the state's overall economy. Both architects and customers can be certain that the installation they have with an IBW NECA contractor is done right the first time, done on time, and within the budget. NYSERDA, Albany NECA, and the IBEW locals in New York are hoping to take this program national in the coming months and years. Programs similar to these are also in place at many JATCs around the country. So make sure to contact your local NECA IBEW Training Center to see if they offer something like it. That's it for this edition of Electric TV. Until next time, I'm Dominic Geritano.